Hey guys and welcome to the project from the channel Made My Myself. You can find the original link to the video in the description. The video will show you how you can build easily a beautiful wine shelf with two old pallets. First, you take the pilot and separate the upper part from the lower part at the places marked in this picture. It works best using with a jimmy and a hammer. By doing this, you have to be careful to not break the wood. Sometimes it cracks because they are nailed up very strongly. In that case, spray oil on it. It will help to loosen the nails. If the nails are loosened, you can take the spiegel away. All the nails that you can still see can be flexed off with an angle grinder. You can also just pull the nails out from the front side, but I like the heads better in front because to me it looks more authentic. After you flexed all the nails, you can now work on the pallets with the pressure washer, but only if they are really dirty or you worry that chemicals or other stuff might have been soaked up by the wood. It's not important because later we will burn the wood for a better look, so they don't need to be washed. Now I took the wood, I just cleaned and shorted them. Those are the horizontal timbers from the pallet. The pallet itself measure 1.20 meter but later I want to place the shelf upright and so forth that I need to cut it to 80 centimeters which is almost the white of the pallet. So I marked it with an angle bracket and just sew it off. If you cut off the pieces you wanted, you flex the nails from the cross pieces and then you can start with burning the wood. For burning, you can just use a Bunsen burner and go over the wood until you reach your desired degree of blackness. Burning is pretty easy, just hold the flame on the wood until you reach your desired degree of blackness. Always use the yellow flame for burning, because there you have the highest heat development. After burning, you just go over the wood with a steel brush until the ashes are completely brushed off and you don't get dirty or handy touching the wood. By brushing, you can also lower the degree of blackness again. You might as well leave the wood as it is, but I went over it again with some wood oil. Because I think it's got a beautiful shininess in the end and feels better. But again. It's not necessary because the structure is already very good after burning. Then I took the spigot that I also traded with flames and screwed those to the boards for the shelf. In this case, you should definitely pre-drill the holes even if I'm not a big fan of extra work. But it would be very sad if the well-traded pilot wood would crack because of a screw that's tightened directly on the wood, so always pray drill. When the shelf is ready in the end, I took the really long screws because they can best hold the weight because I want to put glasses, bottles and other stuff in it. You tighten these long screws by measuring the distance between one screw and the other. You screw one in and then measure the distance on the other side. 
The most beautiful thing about this work is that it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all about used look. Here you can see that at the bottom on the left side a piece is missing. That's because my personal decision, like I said, a very unique and individual process. Then I took the forks and drilled a hole through them with the screwdriver and an attachment for metal. The splinters sticking out are very sharp and need to fill off. Then the most creative part of this project starts namely bending the forks like this that you can later hang different glasses or drinks on there. Because this is again something very individual, I left this part on the video which is a bit longer so if you don't need, just skip this part. Otherwise, you can see how I bent the forks. I bought the forks on eBay and paid 50 cent a piece. With the bending of the forks, I really don't know which material it is and if your forks will bend this way too. I just recommend trying it or even use another alternative solution if you don't want to have your glasses hanging on forks. When the fork is ready, it looks like this. The board is really narrow, so again, it would be the best to pre-drill the holes and use little screws. I wanted to have two glasses on it. On the left and right side, I thought about having a glass of coffee beans and sugar. I don't know if it makes sense, but it works for me and it's fun, but you might as well put the glasses on the ground of the shelf. In the lower and middle part, I thought of hanging my coffee cups and for that I just screwed in some hooks. And on the upper part, I want to have my wine bottles and in front of them the copper pipe that I cut with a jigsaw and an attachment for metal. Copper is a very soft material. After that you file it off if there are sharp splinters and then put it where you want to have it. With the bigger drilling machine I drilled a hole measuring 13 cm and the copper pipe measures 15 cm so I drilled it a bit wider with a wood drill because the hole should be not big for that the copper can be combined while with the wood and hold up the wine bottles without getting out of place. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any attachments or something similar, but if you have ideas for a better solution, just write a comment or a message, I'd appreciate that very much. Yeah, but really this is it and your chef is finished. Now it's all about hanging it on your wall. For that, you need to know from which material your wall is made if it is concrete, stone or wood. The shelf weighs a lot, so take your time and screw it in place well. I'm lucky having a wooden wall, so I can directly use a 15cm screw and hang the shelf on the wall with a level on top so that everything is hanging even. And then it's done! I hope you had fun watching. If you liked, just give me a thumbs up. If you have any further questions or comments, just use the platform's comment function and if you want to be informed about new videos, just subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. See you next time. Ciao.